Hi everyone, again it's me your math teacher Jello. For today's video, let's have another example on how to solve exponential equation. So actually, this is part 4 of our video. Okay, so what if guys, ganito naman yung given natin. So 49 raised to x times 343 raised to negative 2x equals 49. So same procedure lang yung ginagawa natin. Okay, make the basis equal, no? Okay, so dito guys, i-express natin yung mga basis natin sa exponential form. Okay, we all know that 49 can be written or expressed in 7 squared, right? So, this becomes 7 squared. Kasi, 7 squared, that is equal to 7 times 7 equals 49, right? And we still have uh, the exponent, which is the variable x. So, times 2, magiging 2x yon. Okay? And then, of course, do not forget to copy the operation, times. And then, 343... Uh, express natin in exponential form. Since 7 na yung unang base natin, of course, in-expect natin na 7 din yan. Okay? So, 7 raised to the third power, which is equal to 343, right? Kasi 7 times 7 equals 49. Times 7 equals 343. Okay. So, this becomes 7 raised to the third power. And, sa 343, natin, meron tayo negative 2x doon na exponent. So, do not forget times negative 2x. Okay, nasundan ba ako guys? And, of course, yung 49, express din natin in exponent, um, tama, in exponential form, no? So, 49 can be expressed as 7 raised to the second power or 7 squared. Nakuha? Okay, so, yung mga basis natin ngayon ay 7 na. So, same na sila. But before that, Let's simplify muna to. So, still copy nyo muna yan. 7 raised to 2x times, do not forget. So, let's simplify 3 times negative 2x. That is equal to negative 6x. Very good. Okay. Equals, okay, 7 squared. Copy nyo lang muna yan, guys. And then, after that, um, one of the properties or, or rules in laws of exponents, kapag meron tayong same base, okay, so copy lang yan, and then add the exponent. Okay, so ano nga bang rule natin yon? Meron tayong tinatawag na product rule, wherein a raised to m times a raised to n this is actually equal to a raised to m plus n. So, what will happen sa exponent natin? Yon ay ipag-add natin. Okay. So, pwede natin ipag-add to using uh, this uh, low of exponent. No? Okay. Copy the base. Or, we might as well, pwede rin kasing i-drop off na natin yun, no? yung mga basis natin, or 2x plus negative 4x. So, ito ay magiging negative 4x, right? So, ito yun guys. So, a raised to m times a raised to n equals a raised to m plus n. So, what will happen sa exponent natin? Ipag-add lang natin sila. So, same base tayo. I just copy. Ito yun. 2x plus negative 4x uh, sorry, 2x plus negative 6x equals negative 4x equals 7 squared. Okay. So, same base tayo guys. Equate now the exponent. So, this becomes negative 4x equals 2. Okay. Solving for x by the division property of equality, we need to divide it all terms by negative 4. Okay, wag kayo malilito kapag ka negative yun nandito yung katabi ng any variable. So, dun yun siya i-divide. Since ito ay negative 4, yung katabi ng variable, which is the numerical coefficient, which is negative 4, i-divide nyo sa all terms by negative 4. Okay, cancel para mawala yung numerical coefficient doon. So, we left by x equals 2 over negative 4. Okay, and since 2 over negative 4 is still simplifiable, right? So, this becomes negative 
one half. Okay, so the answer is x equals negative one half. Yan. Okay, so now how do we check uh, whether our answer is correct? No, so by simply um, let's substitute yung x natin equals negative one half in our original equation. Okay, mag-checking tayo dito. So, sa checking natin guys, pinuprove kasi natin na tama yung sagot natin and, and, and at the same time, dapat equal sila parehas. What I'm trying to say is, dapat yung left hand side natin ay equal dito sa right hand side. So, which is equal to 49. So, let's prove. So, 49 raised to the x power times 343 raised to negative 2x equals 49. Okay, nasundan ba ako guys? So, substitute x equals negative 1 half. Yan. Times 343. No? Raised to negative 2. Yun, yun. Tapos, x mo ay negative 1 half also. So, lahat ng variable x gawin ng negative 1 half. Equals 49. Okay? So, dito guys, uh, simplify muna natin to. Okay? Actually guys, ito pwede natin i-express in exponential form. So, later no? Sige, pakita muna natin to. 49 raised to negative 1 half times 343. So, negative 2 times negative 1 is ne a positive 2, right? Tama? Positive 2 divided by 2 ay 1 na lang siya. Okay? Nakuha? So, 343 raised to 1. Kasi negative times negative ay positive. So, equals 40. 9. So guys, ang goal natin dito sa checking dapat uh, ma-prove natin na equals sa 49 parehas. The left hand side and then the right hand side. Okay. So dito, yung 49 i-express natin in exponential form which is 7 squared times negative 1 half. Okay. Times yung 343 um, express natin in exponential form which is 7 cube times 1 is 3 pa rin naman, right? So, copy nyo lang yon, And then 49. So, pinuprove nga natin na equal siya sa 49. Okay? So, eto guys. Simplify natin. Uh, 2 times negative 1 half. The answer is negative 1. So, 7 raised to negative 1 times 7 cube equals 49. Okay. Following this uh, law of exponent, no? Copy nyo lang yon. So, this becomes negative 1 plus 3 positive 2, right? Equals 49. So, what is 7 squared? That is equal to 49. So, are they equal? Yes. So, kapag nag-equal, guys, ibig sabihin, tama yung sagot natin. Okay? Kindly answer 4 raised to 2x times 32 raised to 6x plus 1 equals 64. Okay? Kindly comment your answer. Kung meron kayong natutunan sa video ito, pakilike and share. Thank you for watching.